They were victorious by a score of three to one at home. The Islanders doubled up the Stars four to two. The Edmonton Oilers knocked off. There's a shot in and a, it trickles through. Was about to say, it looked like a leg pad saved by the netminder that he just held onto in his possession, but it just finds a sliver of an opening and in transition. Sioux City with a nice feed across the goal mouth, and there's a lot of cliches in hockey. When they talk about ways to beat a netminder, you want them moving side to side. Although it works out for them, they'll keep possession. Keppel slides over from left to right. Looking through traffic. They find him on down low with a big save and a second by the netminder. First the left pad, then the right. And he will cover up as the Buccaneers were in the ice box in Lincoln. And I would say if there are two rinks in the USHL, there's a quick shot on. Tracy gave up a rebound but covers up with the glove. Keep in mind, this second period, always the period that is toughest in regulation for teams to make exchanges. This is a pass ahead to Barnes. Barnes cuts it, fires and scores! Joshua Barnes is on fire as he's got three on the evening, and we're going to have fireworks afterwards. Stenberg has to be peeled away from Ralph Bergmanis, who seemed to, I'll admit, I just saw the player go down. I didn't see how bad the contact was, and we'll find out here in a matter of moments. But Barnes has tied the game at one, and the Buccaneers may be headed on a man advantage. It certainly looks to be the case. The time of the goal, six minutes and 50 seconds. And it looks like Stenberg swings around. We've reached the halfway point of regulation. A three on two is they gain the line, but they slow him down. A loose puck, and then sticking out his right leg pad. And what a stop by Keppel. Throwing his body along the boards was Kosas. It somehow slipped through. Kosas is now the deep forward and applying pressure. Prokop checks over his shoulder once, twice, and absorbs the hit. Kuzma tries to pull that up the line. In tight, and Keppel kicks it out with a left pad save. Kupchuk. Slips around one man. He's got a two-on-one. Over for Kosas, who fires, and Tracy comes up with his best stop of the contest. I believe that's everybody. We'll take another look when we have a moment. Fire, and it's going. It's Mitchell Wolf. Upstairs, exact same spot. And Kirkland Irie takes the skate of shame from the JLM gun shop back to his bench. He was 17 seconds from being clear and his penalty not costing his team. Taken by Musarov. Kucho with a wraparound attempt. And it's kicked out by Tracy, keeping his squad in it. Prokop sets up Kosas. Kosas back to Prokop with a drive, thundering pad save and smothered by the Minnesota State commit. Back in Sioux City. And Fowler takes exception to the shot from Rubin. In tight and a big save made by Keppel. And a good job with rebound control. Gave up a rebound. Make sure it wasn't a dangerous spot. A great feed in the slot. And Fowler with a multi-point night. As that is tapped in on the far side. And the goal scorer for Sioux City is Charlie Schoen. The Arizona State commit. Picks up his 23rd of the season. Took him a little while to locate it. It's turned over, and here's an odd man rush. Coming in on a two-on-one. Barnes kicks it out. And then they put one across the bow, just clipping the crease, but out. And so Barnes with a goal with a primary assist, and I think may have stopped a goal there. There's a big save by Keppel on the evening. They're only permitted four skaters with their netminder, Remington Keppel. The draw will come to a stick side. It's one back by... Kuzma, centering pass, shot in the goal, going upstairs on the far side, and potting that goal was Ben Steves, the Eden Prairie, Minnesota native, scores six seconds into Sioux City's first man advantage of the night, and they take the lead back by a score of three to two. 
of the campaign for the Minnesota Duluth commit. Centering pass. Can't find a connection on the back end. And a great shot from the inside of the right circle. Held in, they'll make the pass over for Carfagna, Damien Carfagna. Now to McLaughlin, had a man at the back door, and it takes a bad carom for Des Moines. McLaughlin was trying to get that to the far side. It takes a bounce for Sioux City, comes near side, and they're able to pot it from there. For the first time in the contest, either side with a two-goal lead, it goes the way of the visitors on the man advantage. Davey wins that draw back to Tinling to Barnes. Wolf takes over. Back to Barnes. Snapping a shot through, and Tracy was able to somehow find that puck that was redirected. Finally, the whistle blows 13 seconds into this power play is an LSSU commit, Lake Superior State University. Ahead, and here's Lundberg. Lundberg cuts into the forehand, and a blocker save made by the netminder. And if Lundberg had scored that one, Stenberg on the tie-up, kicked at. Sioux City plays it, and it comes out. Musarov is the last man back. Dives over, and Duran waits, fires, and scores the empty netter. 6.5 left on the clock. Musarov talking with one of the linesmen. I'm not sure if he had a question there or felt that there was something missed. And it looks like the latter, but Ben Duran will pick up an unassisted goal at the 19 minute 54 second mark. Face off at center ice. Wagner. Wins it back. Irie presses on, and he'll pull back. Feeds it to his defenseman, and the horn will sound. We'll take a quick step away from the action. We'll listen in for our three stars of the game, and we'll be back with your post-game report. A final from Buccaneer Arena. Sioux City 5, Des Moines 2, 